In half a mile, the destination is on your left. Homestead Bay Front Park. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice, she's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop full of art, old dreams dying hard. It wants you to return this love. He wants you to return his love. Now he's beating down and so What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bite the Bait Fishing. It is a beautiful day here in Miami today. There is virtually no wind. We are getting ready to run offshore. We're gonna be fishing a new area down south, heading out of Biscayne National Park in Homestead. And we're gonna do a little bit of reef fishing today, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun episode. During the midday hours, it's That's what I want to go. I want to go to the Lake Let's do it, bro. Well, that guy's like, ah, oh, it's boy. We gotta, bro, we gotta plan that when they're spawning, bro. So we can just go and like, I think it'll be easier to catch a donkey. Yeah. 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 Right, you guys so we're about ready to drop this anchor down on the reef we're looking for some good structure down below where we can fall back on and start heavy chumming i'm going to be giving you guys some tips and techniques today but this is the way that it gets started out on the reef you got to drop the anchor down set yourself down and once you're set on the anchor that's when all the fun begins all right so we got the two blocks of chum in the water right now you guys and uh, setting back some lines for our first drift. We're gonna see if we get any yellowtails to come out. We're anchored up in about 64 feet of water. We've got some really nice marks coming up underneath the boat and see if we can pull out some tails, maybe a nice bottom fish while we're here too. Oh, Chris just hooked up. That's a good sign. Yeah, it's a nice one too. Booyah. Boom, fellas, take a look at that. That's a flag right there. Tail's a good one. Yeah, things stripped off some drag at first. All right, we just got hooked up on another fish. Hopefully it's a tail. Hoping for another yellow tail. We, we got a lot of foul fish behind the boat, you guys, making it a little difficult to drift our baits back. Yeah, it's the right one. It looks like the right fish, my man. Not a bad one. That'll keep. Oh, man, that's a good one. Good, dude. Decent quality. Yeah. Not giants, but they're fucking. You know, yeah. 16, look at that. Fat, fat little belly on them. Finally, first yeah, fish. Awesome, Come up. Right behind the boat, too, right? Not too far behind the boat. I'll tell you, that one was pretty close. Yeah, Let's see what he looks like. Let's get some color. It's not a bad one from the looks of it from here. Not a bad one, man. Sweet deal. So that's a beautiful tail my friends nice fat belly on them get some good fillets yeah, and that's today's targeted species took me a couple uh i went through like four different hooks trying to figure out what what was going to work but right now using a little 10 must add live bait hook even though i'm throwing out chunks one of the best tasting fish we got out here if you're ever in south florida and you want to catch some fish definitely book a nice offshore charter these guys are a lot of fun when you get in them Nice, sweet deal. We're using little chunk baits, little, little cut up ballyhoo. And uh, like I told you guys earlier, little tiny 1-0 hooks. Very light line. I think I'm using a little bit too heavy of a leader, but. Oh, and Chris just got on. Oh, we might, we might start hooking into some now. That'd be pretty awesome. We can get some stellar action right here. Toss mine out there, let it start drifting back. You just want to peel out the line, guys, when you're fishing for these yellowtails. Just peel it out, let it go with the current. And you're going to feel it. When you get one of these guys to bite on, you're going to feel they're going to immediately just rip out the drag. That's not a bad fish right there. Take a look at the one that Chris just got on. Not bad at all, guys. Good quality. That's what we're out here for. Give it the yellowtail? The yellow of all yellows, I'll tell you that. Dude, yeah, bring out the gap or the net or something, whatever it is. Dude, 
What is that? Damn. Meat in the boat. Yeah, buddy. Well, we'll find out now in a second if he's keeper. Look at the teeth on that guy. Nice trigger fish, you guys. 16 inch fish right there. Rock's looking pretty good. Sweet! That's a tail, probably. That's a good one, too. The little jig had one. That was a little yellowtail jig. Sweet, man. Nice little yellowtail, you guys. Nice bit of meat. Such a pretty fish, too. Love the colors and the little spots on them. I actually uh, downsized my leader, too. Went down to 15 pound and second drift out. Got you. Got you, Mr. Yellowtail. <laughs> oh, what is that? I don't know. It looked a little blue. It looks a little bigger. What is that? Dude, look at that patch. What is that? It's a shark. Holy crap. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. It's a Yellowtail with a big old shark. Flip him in. Bass fishing. <laughs> Shark? Dude, that was a big shark. We gotta jack him up and get him out of here. Before him and his buddies start showing up. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna eat our fish. That's why. The bull sharks are in the building. <laughs> they have arrived. Mm -hmm. Shaking his head like a bonita. Oh, Is it a mackerel? A little one, yeah. They that was quick. Yeah. Buddy. Hey, get this rock and let the bales close. Okay. Yeah. Get him, bro. You want me to get the gaff? Yeah, it's sitting in there. <laughs> get him, bro. Get him. Turn him. Turn him, bro. Oh, no. That was a grouper. Whew. Oh, man. Let's keep that guy there. <laughs> I'll drag him right into the bottom. Oh. Hey. I guess we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Reel up the lure, dude. Oh yeah, hold on. Dude, that's a very nice yellow tail from the looks of it. Not bad, buddy. I guess we ain't going nowhere, Pablo. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> I think that's the best one yet, bro. Let's measure him. He's fat, man. Back to the bottom. Whoa! He just shit all over us too. He's like, "Fuck you guys! What do you guys think you just caught me? You're gonna be measuring me?" Ooh, eighteen and a half. Wow. Good fish. That's a fat one right there. Sweet yeah. deal, brother. Sweet deal. Let's put him in the cooler. Come here. He was right there too, huh? Yeah, he wasn't too far away. And I see him already. Where is? Don't get, don't get tangled up on my line. No, don't go that way. Smaller one, yeah, but, but still keeper. Yeah, man. He's going in the cooler. Yeah. This one's a keeper. Good job, man. Thanks, brother. That was quick. I dropped it in and boom. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right into the bucket, too. Yes. Not a bad yellow tail. Come here, papi. You're going in the cooler regardless. Yeah, look. They're going to go right into our slick. Hello, we're fishing right here. Look, I'm about to get it hooked up again. There we go. You're working right now. You're smoking me. There we go. Come here, baby. What are you getting? Chunks on the Chunks on the thin one. Horsing him up, too, with this track tightened down. <laughs> it's like no joke, man. Boom! Chakalaka. <laughs> Get him, bro. Get him. Yellow tailing on the reef. Yeah, buddy. That's what we came here for. We had a plan, and we're following through with it. And let me tell you, that cooler is pretty full. <laughs> I know. Sorry, I like it, though. And another one. Rabaruya. There you go. Do. Not bad, though. Not yeah, bad. Dude. It's at least 15 inches, if not more. Yeah, Sweet deal, bro. It's decent quality, bro. 
Because you know whatever eats this should be a keeper. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Learning from my boy Chris here. Hey, you're becoming a fucking bottom fisherman, bro. Okay. Got a good teacher, bro. Uh, it's an eel. It's a fucking eel. Can't believe we ate our only fucking bag here. Look at that, we destroyed it. Guys. Not what you want. Not what you want when you're out. What do I do? Just... Put up a good fight, that son of a gun, but that's not what we want on the boat. <gasps> Ooh, shit. That was a good fight. He actually fought pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. Cut him. You got the knife back right behind you, so. Damn. That's a decent tail right there. I actually had tightened down the drag on this reel earlier, guys, when we were dealing with some bull sharks and whatever this is seems to have an ass to him staying downwards whatever it may be if it's a tail it's a it's a really good tail if it is but i have reason to believe it might be something else is it coming up no i don't even see it yet it might be a bottom fish i don't think you're pulling up though i think you're just stripping drag no man oh he's coming up huh it's coming close, buddy. If you want to get ready, I don't know what it is. I can't see it. Uh, it's a trigger, I think. Yeah. Big trigger. No, I don't want to keep another. I mean, unless you want to. Dude, those triggers, they they put up a freaking major fight. Right on the top of the lip. Trigger fish. Working the reef. Yeah, perfect hook set. Really good eating, it's a nice looking one. fish. Yeah, we just kept one. We're gonna throw this guy back. Thank you. Come again. Are you out there? That was pretty far out there. It's about the average we've been catching today, actually. Look at that. Good. Solid tail, man. Good. They're actually good fucking size yellow tails. Take a look, you guys. This is the fish we've been catching all day. <laughs> oh, you son. It's funny how changing that leader up. Yeah. Did the world of a difference. Going from 20 to 15. Nice little chunky guy right there. We're gonna have some mega for letters, brother. Sweet deal. I think we should count real quick. Yeah, let's take a let's take a quick here. What do you think? Throw them in the bucket? As you guys can tell, we do not play. Fifteen really nice yellow so we tails. Need, we need four more and we can get the heck out of here. Oh, that's the limit? Sixteen? Twenty. Oh, okay. But four more is what I'm saying. Because we have fifteen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sweet deal. So what, how are we gonna how do you... I wanna show you guys really quick what the setup looks like? It's a little white yellowtail magic jig. You can get these at any bait and tackle shop. Or bass pro shop they sell them in packs of like six to ten i believe and they're pretty cheap they're under they're under five dollars and then what you want to do is you want to go pretty light with your leader as we've adjusted throughout the day i started with 20 only got a couple bites and then immediately when i dropped down to 15 pound the the hookup ratio and the bite ratio just totally changed right now it seems like every drift we get a good drift we get a good bite on it and i got probably about 15 to 20 feet of the 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on there just so that that braid stays hidden away from them they're very finicky eaters the water here is ultra clear we're only fishing at about 60 feet on this reef line so you definitely want to go lighter and as you can tell with what we're using I'm using a medium heavy St. Croix Tidemaster seven foot paired up with a quantum 
and the quantum is a smoke inshore pt40 awesome little reel right here with a lot of drag potential right now we got our drags locked because we did have some sharks earlier in the day but these guys they fight pretty hard it's a fun day we're gonna have a lot of meat to take home as you guys could tell what you want to do is you just want to really really set the line out you just want to keep drifting it out with the current keep pushing line out keep pushing line out and you want to do that until you feel them just peel off line like you'll notice when these yellowtails when they actually bite on they they strip out a pretty decent amount of line sometimes it's actually hard to close your bail on them it takes a couple tries but but you'll know when you have one on that's for sure that's another thing guys you guys want to be prepared if you want to really be successful at yellowtail fishing grouper fishing pretty much any type of reef bottom fishing you gotta spend a little bit of money and have enough chum with you we had what how many blocks like nine blocks nine to ten blocks of chum i know it's a lot of money but if you want to be effective out here and have the kind of numbers that we had are better you're going to definitely need a yep you're gonna have to power chum only something bigger there trigger Something, it looks decent. Oh, it's a big tail, huh? Yep. Ooh, yeah. Nice, man. Ooh, that's a good one, boy. That's a really good one, brother. That is a really good one, bro. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. Take a look at that. That's a fat one, you guys. We have not been catching babies today. Dude, I haven't had a day like this on tails in a very long time, so it feels good. Number 17? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're there. We're Sweet there. deal. Sweet deal. There we go. Got him now. Yeah, it's a yellowtail for sure. It's a decent one too. Oh, he's a real good one. Actually, just as good as the last one I think you got. Or close. Oh. Dude, these are solid. Oh my god, you guys, take a look at this, this chunk. These are solid. Yeah, coming down south was a good call, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, what it took so, what took us so long That's to come here? Saying, dude, you guys, look at this beautiful specimen right here. Baby, you wanted some fresh snapper, you got it, it's coming home. <laughs> Funny, my girl was telling me the same thing. Was she? She's like, I want some fish, man. <laughs> She's like, you guys keep fishing for fun, I don't get it. That is a solid tail. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right there. It's a trigger. I saw him eat. <laughs> oh, he's making a run. He's making a run. <laughs> trigger fish. Come here, boy, you going home. You screwed, my man. That's what you get for messing with my, my chum slick. What's going on, you guys? So we just made it back to the boat ramp and it was a very good day today out on the reef. We had nonstop action. We fished probably for about eight hours. We chummed the hell out of those waters we went through nine blocks of chum and i gotta tell you guys if you want to effectively fish the reef it's something you're gonna have to do invest some money in some chum catch your bait out there chop the bait that's what does it for these yellowtails that's what we've been waiting for we haven't gone yellowtailing i think since last year and it was a successful trip i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something today very happy to take home a limited yellowtail snapper and a couple triggers and uh like i said guys hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something and uh if you're new to bite the bait fishing make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button for us we do appreciate all the support you guys are giving us and that wraps it up for us here today guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time see you later.